Hey, how you doing? Elliot 7130. Today, what I want to do is focus on creating the shadow effect inside of Maya. First thing I want to do is come up and create a polygon. Let's do a plane and we could just stretch it out over the grid. We come back in here and create another polygon. And this time we'll create a sphere. Just set that anywhere on the grid and press W to lift it up in the Y. And what I'm going to do is shut off this grid real quick. So just hit that, shut the grid off. Now you may not have that function on yours because this is Maya 2009. And they just kind of put a couple of things on the shelf here for us. You know, that's commonly used. So uh, what I want to do now is just select my sphere, go to edit, delete by type, history, and then I want to modify freeze transformations. Now you can see all of our translates is clean and all of our history is deleted on this sphere. So now we can come over into the dynamics set and go into the effects, create shatter option box. What I want to do is just grab it, reset it. And inside of here, you can see that we have three different types of shatters that we can perform on our object. So what I want to do is focus mainly on this solid shatter for now. You can see here the shower count is default five. I'm going to set it up high, something like 20. And this post operation, let's change it from shapes to rigid bodies with collisions off. And it's asking, what do you want to do? Do you want to do nothing? Do you want to hide it? Do you want to delete it? Well, I just want to link it to the original surface. So I'm just going to create that. It's going to take a few seconds to write this script out. So I'm just going to hit create and just let it go ahead and create those shards. And when it's done, if I grab my outliner, just go into Windows, Outliner. When it's done, when I select my sphere, you see we got our normal sphere. And inside of it, we see all these little nice little shards. So I'm going to just drop this down. Here's our shatter. And inside of there, we got all these little shards that we can make sure I'm in object mode. Grab the floor and let's change it to a rigid body, but I want to make a passive rigid bodies. Create passive rigid body. And now you can see we got this rigid body connected to our floor. And also I want to grab the sphere. So let's grab the sphere. And inside here we have this node that we can turn off and on that controls the shatter. So if I select that and press zero, enter, you see now I've turned off those shatters inside of this sphere. And now I can uh, just come up here, grab the sphere and connect the field to it. And I think I'm going to just hit it with some gravity. And now once I simulate, before I do that, I want to maybe up my frame count, something like 500. And I can just simulate it and we get this nice bounce onto the floor from our sphere. So that's, you know, that's pretty good. But what I want is I want it to break open. So it looked like it's probably gonna connect with the floor maybe around frame. It's on frame 40 right now. So let's say maybe around 41. So let's set this down here to frame 41. Let's re, okay. So that's good. It's not, it probably get a little closer, but it might, overshoot what we're looking for. So let's just set it to frame 42 really quick just to see what we get. Okay, reset. Yeah, so it did bounce. So I want to stick with 41 because I don't want the bounce. I want it to hit the floor and burst open. So at the same time. So at frame 41, I'm going to take this, grab it in the outliner, grab my sphere and turn that shatter on by pressing one, right click on shatter, key selected, then I'm gonna go back to frame 40. Oops, I can do it here, frame 40, and turn that shatter off by pressing zero, enter, 
select shatter, right click, key selected. Now I want to come back into the uh, timeline and increase my frames back up to 500. I can go back into this perspective view and now I can reset and simulate. If you notice, it didn't make contact with the floor at all. It just fell right through. You can see it turning into the shatter, but it's not making contact. So let's look. So what we can do is actually grab our floor and inside this rigid body node, we can go down and turn this collision layer from default zero. Let's set it to negative one. And now we can reset and simulate and we do get some interaction between the shards and the floor. But they hit the floor and now it look like they're taken off in space. So let's just see what they're gonna do. They hit the floor and now they're out of here. So grab all of our shards inside the outliner. Make sure we got them all. And then what I can do is apply some gravity to it. So we go to Fields, Gravity. And let's reset. Now let's see what happened. I just changed my angle. Okay. Okay, so that's decent. But you know they all clump together. So maybe we could push, maybe we could push this sphere in the Z just a little bit. So let's grab the sphere. Let's go to this rigid body and the initial, the initial velocity, let's give it a push in the Z, maybe 10. And now let's see what happened. Okay. Okay. So, you know, you get in here and change the bounciness on the floor, change the uh, dampening on the floor. And we get a little, just to make it a little more realistic because it is bouncing and it is kind of wiggling around a lot. But you you get the picture, you know, they still wiggling around. But that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, Elliot7130.